Hey, Vel Omar here. And once again, we are Talking Soul. You know, I'm going to be talking a lot about music and especially soul music, classic soul, classic R&B, uh, traditional jazz. But what I want to get into specifically today is uh, the nature and the state of the music business that we're in today. And well, what brought this idea to my mind is I got a question from a fan. And the question was one that I had heard quite a bit um, throughout my music career, my professional music career, after I had started doing, um, making CDs and producing music in the studio. So the question is this, when are you gonna go back into the studio, do some, some different music, some new music? And uh, it wasn't um, asked uh, in a bad way. They really wanted to know just when was I planning on going back into the studio? So, simple question. Um, and so after a while, I started wondering, uh, how would I go back into the studio? Or why would I go back into the studio if I still had music that had not been heard of let alone soul, <laughs> you know, so I, I always wondered what would be the reason to go back into the studio and continually record new music, new songs, in which I did, actually, I, I did keep going back into the studio recording new music, but I started wondering why, why should I just keep doing that? I have songs that have never been heard by anybody already recorded in the can, so to speak. And so it's like, uh, to me, it's like uh, if I was a, a storekeeper and I had bread on the shelf or I had uh, cans of food on the shelf and uh, they were selling very slowly. And um, I saw people were always um, wanting those items and they come in and they look at those items and, but they would never actually buy those items. They may be buying them from some other store, maybe, I, I don't know. But I said to my, the last person who asked me, well, well, when are you gonna go back into the studio? I wasn't trying to be curt uh, or smart aleck or anything like that. I said, well, uh, when I am able to sell more of what I already have, I say, I have, I told them I have songs that have never been heard, uh, but uh, I'm not, not even, uh, uh, known about as far as I know and so I'm trying to I told them I, I'm trying to sell those songs I'm trying to get those songs out in the public and the best way I know how to do that of course is to advertise to promote and um, so I went on to say until I've had a a million people know who I am, what kind of music I do. And I have quite a few songs out there in the public already. Easy to go find if you just look under my name, if you know who I am. And that's another thing. I have to let people know who I am. So until they know who I am, they may not even know about or care about the music that I produce. So that's where I am. And that's where a lot of independent artists are today. We have the music. But, uh, and we love to go into the studio, but what sense does it make to keep going into the studio, creating new music when you still have so much music that has not been heard? So uh, just uh, hold on and I'll be right back and bring another point of view to you that you may be aware of already, all right? All right, I'm back. Bell Omar talking so. Got a question for you. And that is, where are you? Uh, <laughs> I don't mean where are you physically, like in what city or state. I mean, where are you when it comes to the kind of music that you really like, that you really can get into? Are you into um, 
are you into the new contemporary artists, the young artists that are coming up? Um, are you into the classic soul? Are you into the jazz? Uh, what type of music are you into? We want to know, where are you in your music preferences? And uh, the reason I ask that is because that will give us an idea of what audiences that we are dealing with. But most people, when they go out and they, they buy, I think you probably buy more online. At least I believe that's the case now. I think all the record stores are pretty much gone, but uh, by the way, somewhere. You know, so uh, where do you buy your music? And what music is it that you are buying? So if you are a, uh, a, a connoisseur of the new music, then where do you, you buy that? Do you get that on the music apps uh, online or do you, uh, how, how do you do that? Or do you prefer the older music, the golden oldies, the good old, good old oldies? And how do you buy that? So that's what I would like to know uh, so that we can figure out a way to, uh, to do this thing where we are all gonna be successful and pleased the artists and the music fans. That's what I want to know. Where are you as a music artist? And excuse me, as a uh, music fan, so that we music artists can find you. That's right. And I'm going to go ahead and end this, but I also want to let you know before I go, I also would like to let you know where you can find my music. And I'm really, really focusing in on this now more so than ever. And that is, let you know that if you go to YouTube, find my channel under my name, Bell Omar, V-E-L-O-M-A-R-R. -R. I would love for you to subscribe to it. Now, this is not a subscription where you have to pay money. So you, all you have to do is just find the subscribe button on my music channel on YouTube and click subscribe and you will be subs subscribed. How, now, I don't know if you need to go, uh, you have to have a Gmail account or anything like that, but whatever you have to do, it's not a very difficult process. So I want everybody to go to my YouTube channel, Bell Omar YouTube channel and subscribe and listen to some of the music that I have already out there. You may be surprised and click like if you like it and uh, and then buy. You can also buy it. That's the purpose, because that's how we make our money these days. We make it through streaming as well. So go ahead. Go on over to YouTube, Vel Omar on YouTube and subscribe. And so what we'll do, I'm going to be putting this out, this video out on Facebook. And I will be in the audience so that you will be able to talk back to me as we are watching or as you are watching uh, the, the video that I'm doing right now. And I will be able to answer questions. I didn't do it live because um, I want to only uh, focus in on the people who are truly interested. And until I get that thousand, this is what I wanted to say, until I get that thousand subscribers, then I can actually start doing some live things on YouTube and make more of using YouTube. Right now, I believe I'm at about 927, maybe 930 or so, and it's continually rising. So that's a good thing. So I want you to be a part of my uh, subscribers as well. So don't forget, go over to Bell Omar on YouTube, on my channel, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and like what you hear, okay? I hope you do. So until then, this is Val Omar, and you have been talking soul with me. Meet me on Facebook and or on YouTube, and we can discuss it further, live and in person. Okay, you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you then. <laughs>